lovelies. Just setting up. If you are joining for our workout, you're going to need some canned goods. If you have canned goods, fantastic. If you have dumbbells, that works great too. I will use both throughout the workout. Um, I'm going to use seven pounds. I might abandon these and use my cans of beans. My body is pretty sore from the workouts I've been doing. And um, I just tested <laughs> one of the exercises and my legs are real sore. I did um, Katie Cruz body weight workout this morning on her live and uh, my quads are very sore. So <laughs> I already have some regrets about what I planned. But um, let's do this together. And I'm sure it'll be great. I have changed things up a little bit. So we're gonna do one like less exercise, but we're gonna add in a little bit of a cardio element. I know some of you have neighbors, so I will give you some options, but I wanna say I'm so glad you guys are here. I know this is a super stressful time and a lot of uncertainty and I'm trying to be positive. But let's do this, let's sweat it out. Yeah, it's the bear squats for sure that got me. <laughs> um, but yeah, let this be the positive point of our day where we sweat it out, focus just on this, and that always kind of gives you those post-workout endorphins which make things a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all the exercises, show you some modifications, and then explain everything um, that I'm going to go through. Um, so basically I will show you my backward sign again because this is helpful for no one. Uh, but this is what I'm following. I will post a screenshot later. And essentially we're starting with thrusters. If you have canned goods, I'm gonna show you with canned goods and you're simply doing a squat and like an overhead press. So focus on your depth. I've mentioned this before, but I've got a bit of like a hamstring injury and an adductor injury. So my depth might not be as much as it normally is, but focus on what feels good for you where you can still maintain your form and you're not going to be worrying about injuring yourself. So once again, we're gonna start with thrusters. If you've got your canned goods, it might not be very much weight, but it does add up over time. It just makes it a little bit more challenging. If you've got your dumbbells, same idea. And we're going to be doing these for 20 seconds. And then, during our used to be rest breaks, we're going to be either doing high knees, your choice, butt kicks, or a low impact. Bring your hands lower if you don't want to bring your legs as high. Or you can rest. I'm not going to judge you. I might rest during some of them also. So do what feels good. And next exercise, quickly I'll show you, is going to do plank rows. So, if you have dumbbells, this will be with dumbbells. If you don't, I will show you the modification. So starting in our plank position, my dumbbells, I also want to point out, are not round, so they do have flat parts, which makes this, um, <laughs> sorry, yes, it is brutal, um, safer to do. If you have round ones, I'd probably not, I would not do this, uh, the plank rows with your dumbbells. So that being said, you're coming into your plank position, making sure you are engaging your core, squeezing your glutes. And once again, compared to last time, let me position myself better. The wider your stance, the more stable you are. The narrower your stance, the crazy you are. Um, I'm going for a very wide stance because it's definitely more stable and my core is quite sore. So wider stance and you're doing a row. Alternating each side. This is if you have dumbbells. If you do not have dumbbells, you're not gonna use any weight, you're gonna do plank toe taps. So, your pick if you wanna do this on your forearms or make it more challenging and do this uh, on the palms of your hands. And essentially, feet together, core engaged, glutes engaged, and side, like so. Those are gonna be your toe taps. Okay, exercise three will be half jacks. I don't know what to call these, but I call them half jacks so you don't get to use your arms like this. So, starting in this position, this works well 
to get yourself down in a lower position because you're touching the floor, you have to get down. So if you can jump because you don't have angry neighbors, if you cannot jump, that's totally fine. Do the same thing, but walk through the steps. So you're still doing squats, you're still getting your steps in. If you prefer, you can do pause squats. And think of it as a one Mississippi, one Mississippi. Those are your options. Okay, exercise four. This is the one where I was like, thanks Katie. Um, and this is where I also might switch to my cans of beans is a wall sit with an overhead press. So, making sure you are getting as low as you feel comfortable. Pushing, I'm pushing into my heels. My back is flat against the wall. Even this is brutal. If you want the challenge, get your dumbbells, your cans. You can get lower. Totally up to you. Oh, and this is how I suggest getting it. Put your stuff down and push off the wall if your legs are shaky, like mine are. Exercise four, this is our clap crunch. It's really not a clap. You're welcome to though. Applaud yourself for your efforts. Um, this is the only one would you'll need a mat for. And essentially, sorry guys, ankle's hard for this, but laying down, core engaged, sitting up at a clap under your leg. It's one of those ones that's like, that's not so bad, I get to lay down. I promise you, you will not feel the same way towards the end. And last exercise, I will go over with you, I will demonstrate with our cans of beans, is a dumbbell or bean lunge and a, a knee tuck. So you're gonna do one side at a time and this will look like a reverse. And this is just, it adds weight, right? It's kind of like a normal lunge. But one side at a time. So for the whole 20 seconds, you're doing this. And then we get our little rest break or 20 seconds of cardio and reverse. Knee tuck. Okay, so you can use your cans of beans, you can use nothing, you can use dumbbells. And uh, in the screenshot I will post of our workout, it will, I'll show you, but this one looks like it's 48 rounds because it's only six exercises, but normally we do 20 seconds of exercise and 20 seconds of rest. But like I said, we're gonna be taking away that rest portion and substituting it for high knees, butt kicks, skipping, or actual rest. It is totally up to you. I hope you guys are ready to sweat with me. And I'm gonna have a sip of water and then we're gonna start. And like I said, if you've got cans of beans, if you've got dumbbells, if you don't wanna use any weight, there's nothing wrong with that. Work at your own pace, what feels comfortable. Mm. And just so you know, I'm uh, also doing a live workout on Saturday at 1 p.m on the rider wear uh, Instagram page. So I'm super nervous for that and I actually put a little bit of makeup on today to see how much it melts off. So I have no problem looking like a mess for you, fam, but uh, I was like, more strangers makes me nervous. So I'm testing out and seeing how much my eyeliner stays on my face. Okay, end of rant, here we go. We're starting. And you've got 10 seconds to get ready for our first exercise, which is thrusters. So grab your beans or grab your dumbbells. Here we go. So as many reps as you can do. Remember, it doesn't have to be super fast. Focus on quality, what feels good, what doesn't hurt. Slow down if you have to. Take a breath. Now, get that cardio on. You got 20 seconds of high knees, of butt kicks, of jumping jacks. Do something. Your pick. Or, you're trying to be a good neighbor? High knees. And here we go. Same thing. Get your weight. So 
So we're doing eight rounds of this. This is our second round. Oh, my legs. Five seconds left, fam. All right, here we go. Cardio of some sort. It's only 20 seconds. We can do anything for 20 seconds, right? your cans for this instead of dumbbells. You can also just do pause squats without any weight. Up to you. And jumping jacks, high knees, butt kicks. I prefer jumping jacks somehow. Those are the easiest for me. Doing a great job. All right, fourth round. Halfway there. Your legs are feeling it. Mine. Far too. And some cardio. Or take a rest. Don't feel bad if you need a rest. Five seconds, and they're going back. Okay. The best part about doing it to bad style is when you're done with exercise, you're done. You don't have to see it. Would. So let's go with some butt kicks this time. Get something running on the spot. We're halfway done. Five seconds. All right. Get your weights. Here we go. Okay? 
today. I'm gonna skip this cardio section because I wait. You got five seconds. Okay, grab your weights if you have them or we're getting your plank. Make sure your core is engaged, your glutes are engaged. You do not want to be doing this. You do not want to have your butt in the air. If this is too hard, do a simple plank. Not that a plank is simple or easy, but do a plank. There's nothing wrong with modifying things to be at your level, what feels comfortable, what feels safe, and what feels manageable so you can finish the workout. Ooh. I'm gonna face you, and don't forget, you can also rotate. You can do some rows, and when they get too challenging, you can switch to normal planks or plank toe taps. Five seconds. Ooh. Technically, we are still doing our cardio in between sets. Jumping jacks, high knees, butt kicks, whatever you want. You can go skipping rope. Actually, I did skip the skipping rope. You can do air skipping now. Okay. Here we go, lovelies. Wide stance for your feet, core engaged, glutes engaged. This is your 30 minutes. We're here for you. So keep going. And something, take a rest if you need to.
We're doing half jacks. If you cannot jump, you can do, you can walk through the movement. You can do high knees that do not require jumping. Now, it's like cardio superset with cardio. I thought I would try it differently this time, or the option to do it differently this time, if you wanted to do what I'm doing. But I'll get your feedback later as to if it was better, worse, or a good option, or your extra hate me. <laughs> Your legs will be feeling this oh, later. I was doing an indoor workout and just doing side to side of this. It's none of the suggestions I suggested, but sometimes it keeps me going. seconds left and then you get to do some cardio or take a break. You know I'm struggling when I'm real quiet. <laughs> break, get myself a drink of water. Oh. And we've got one last round of hot jacks. This is really hard. I'm so happy to see so many friends and familiar faces struggling along with me. I think this is a really hard time for a lot of people because we feel alone, we feel isolated, and that's why I want to keep doing these workouts with you guys because sometimes 
it's our only kind of keeping contact for the day, and that is so important for overall well-being and mentality. So I'm here for you guys if you need anything, and I will keep doing these. Like I said, I'm doing wall sits. Oh heck, I'm not using my dumbbells. I'm gonna use my cans. So wall sit. The lower you sit, the harder this is. If you want, you can do your overhead press with your canned goods. I suggest putting them down, pushing off the wall, and if you want to do some cardio in between, go for it. If not, take a breather. And back to the wall. Apologize. This is fantastically awful. <laughs> you have four seconds left. Right down and take a rest. High knees, jumping jacks, whatever feels good. Laying on the floor. Making a sweat angel. You do you. Alright. Go back to the wall. And overhead press. My legs are burning. My quads are on fire. We're almost done this set. Gonna keep moving. Five seconds left. Five seconds left. <laughs> Here we go, my loves. We're getting there. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep going. Challenge yourself. If you want to skip the overhead press, go for it. Oh. I'm having to do my mental math on my Tabata timer for an exercise. Four. Uh, we've got four more rounds left of these guys. Last one, last one. Finish this one strong. It's 
Only 12 more seconds. Alternating legs. Remember, you do not have to do this super fast. Keep your core engaged. Oh. You have the extra grip of having to get up also to do your cardio. Feel free to lay down, relax, take a breather. Here we go. Everything is sweating. Everything is sore. I'm glad you're here doing it with me. supposed to be doing <laughs> Funny how quickly lying down is no longer a treat. I know these are called clap crunches, but I do not have any to clap. Okay, come on, my loves. Keep going. We're getting there. You got. Two more of these. Two more rounds of crunches. And then we're on our last exercise. You are doing amazing. And you should be super proud of yourself. Your last 
last one. Last one. Come on, you guys can do it one more time. Only 20 more seconds. And then no more crunches. Last one. You can go last. One. Last. One. Oh. Eight seconds. Come on, keep going. At least two or three more. to a dumbbell reverse lunge and knee tuck. Oh. If you have dumbbells, grab your dumbbells. If you have beans, grab your beans. If you don't want to grab anything, get on to it. So we're going to be doing, doing one leg at a time. This part always starting is, okay, there we go. I'll do forward. Reverse, tuck, knee drive. So happy to rest. We have jumping jacks. This is our last exercise. Whatever leg you did last time is not the leg you're going to do this time. So, this is my face and it was super helpful. Okay, so I'm going to do my right leg reverse. And that one, I'm bringing up, reverse. After this, I'm in a shower, go for a walk, get my steps in, and then make dinner. Oh. Okay. I love when I see that we're on our last exercise. We only have a handful of rounds. Left. Reverse switch legs, go back to your first leg. Reverse, knee drive or knee tuck. You can skip the dumbbells or dump your canned goods. You can do some butt kicks, but I mean, the only thing I'm gonna kick is my own butt. So tired. Let's go. Okay. Oh, gets to a point when I'm like, what leg am I on? Where's your balance, Nikki? Engage your core. Tuck, core 
engaged. Remember, you do not have to do this with weights. Instagram highlights Ooh. and I'm so glad you guys joined me today some of you for your first time some of your second or third um, I'm always so nervous to do this but it does fill my heart to be able to interact with you as virtually um, so thank you for showing up and like I said I am doing another live workout this Saturday at 1 p.m. It will not be on my channel though. It will be on um, the Insta the Riderwear Instagram. Sorry, I love you, but I am evil. <laughs> um, thank you for joining, guys. So, yes, this Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, um, live workout. It's 28 or 30 minutes on the Riderwear page, and it will be similar, but you'll actually get to rest instead of doing cardio in between. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Um, I am really thankful for you guys. I will screen record this, like I said, and upload it to YouTube so you can do it again and sweat at another point. Um, have an amazing day and love you guys. Thank you so much. Send me your post-workout selfies and love you. Bye, guys.